blade and quill. Hello, this is part five of a series on the Kritas tools. Last week, I showed you how to use the warp mode of a transformation tool and how to deform an image using multiple anchors within the transform frame or by drawing your own free anchors. Then I shared with you the way I set my maximum flexibility mode for better results and I added a few bonus tricks uh, to give you the most out of the warp tool. Finally, I ended the tutorial with a fast drawing uh, creating the alien uh, creature that you see on the thumbnail of that uh, particular video. Today we are going to learn how to use the cage mode and answer a few questions, so let's get started. When you are in the cage settings, Krita tells you to create three points on the canvas in order to begin. When those points are set, new parameters appear right here. I'm going to surround my little D'Artagnan frog with anchors. Now look, as soon as I connect the last anchor to the first anchor, the system goes automatically to deform selection. To deform your image, uh, just like in the warp tool, you need to click first on any anchors before to move it. You can move an anchor along the path or away from the path. To add more anchor, just click here. A gap between the last anchor and the first anchor opens. Click on the last anchor first and now you can add more anchors. Now don't forget to connect to the starting points when you are done. And also you will notice that the gap will be as big as the gap you left between the last and the first anchor. Now let's click and move a few anchors. To move your image, hover your image until you see the four headed arrows. To rotate your image, step away from the image until you see the two circled arrows. Just like in the warp tool, you can select multiple anchors by holding the control key. Now make sure to not overstretch your image as you will damage it. To get out of a multiple functionality, just click on any anchors and click here to reset your image to the original, just as usual. Now let's look at what we cannot do in the cage mode. I am going to start adding anchors around my apple. There are no buttons to erase an anchor. The only thing that you can do is use the Ctrl Z functionality to correct or erase uh, your anchors. Then to continue adding anchors, just click on the canvas. If you realized you didn't like the way you set your anchors and you want to start all over, hit the button escape on your keyboard. Now you can restart setting your anchors. The reset button in the tool options window only works when you have made changes to your image. Before to continue, let me show you uh, how fast and powerful the cage is. Uh, you will see that it only takes a few seconds to make drastic changes. I believe it is uh, faster than the warp mode. Here I duplicated my D'Artagnan's frog. This way you can see the changes I make uh, compared to the original sitting right next to it. Pretty nice, right? 
In the new Credas version, they added uh, this uh, adjust granularity function with two drop down menus called uh, preview and real. But first, let me explain uh, to you what uh, granularity is, or at least uh, what I understand. I think it is the fineness of details uh, in uh, a photograph or a picture. What I mean by that is that uh, the more grains your image uh, contains, the better quality or the deeper level of details uh, is displayed. So in Krita's manual, they recommend us to adjust the granularity of a preview lower than the real value. However, when you start in the cage mode, you will notice that the default settings are the opposite. <laughs> you can see the settings are 8 in the real drop-down menu and 16 in the preview drop-down menu. So uh, right there, Krita, hello. <laughs> hello, you are contradicting uh, your own advice. Oh, that was a hard word to say. Okay, so let's try different stretched and uh, see if there is a difference between the settings. Uh, I'll start with the lowest value and make my way up. As you can see, uh, nothing much is happening. Uh, maybe the pixels quality is less damaged as I stretch. Uh, I just didn't see anything. Uh, if you saw something that I didn't, please make sure to share your wisdom with me and the viewers by dropping a comment. Because I have to admit it, uh, I'm confused here. I don't see a real use of this uh, functionality. So I'm going to just leave it alone and work with the default settings. What do you think? <laughs> I think we'll work with that. We are done for today's tutorial. Next week, we'll talk about the liquify mode of a transform tool. Please make sure to test the cage and play with it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, bring out some old paintings maybe that you've made and uh, see how you can transform them. So I'll see you next week. Have a great day and uh, create some great art. Bye.